I gotta hear that drag ripping. Here we go. <laughs> that feels good, doesn't it? What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. Today is a very interesting day where we're starting this video. Uh, right now I'm in the middle of a marsh, a very beautiful marsh on a very beautiful morning. Uh, really, really beautiful morning. But uh, my buddy Jason and I came out here and started fishing at about 11 p.m. last night. We weren't fishing the marsh, we were fishing, you know, reefs and stuff, looking for some trout, and it did not work out. I ended up catching one rat red. We started fishing at 11 p.m. It is now 8.30 a.m. So we fished all night and I caught one rat red. It was not good. Um, brutal morning. But now it is beautiful out here. There are redfish all over the place. And I'm going to look to catch a redfish. And I'm going to look to film it on my new GoPro Hero 5 Black. So what I want to make this video about is kind of a first impressions of the GoPro. Uh, and then I'm going to give you, I'm going to fish, obviously, hopefully catch a couple redfish. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to tell you about all the specifications on this brand new GoPro. That way, if you guys are looking to get out here and film some of your fishing trips, you kind of know what the newest thing on the market is and you can make a decision as to what camera you want to go with. But for now, let's get to fishing. We'll get to the specifications later. Little guy. Oh, he's so cute. That's how you sight cast them right there. None of those head shakes, buddy. None of those head shakes. Oh, come here. You're not quite ready yet, are you? Not quite ready yet. Oh, yeah. Come here. God. You're a strong one. Strong. Oh, I worked hard for you. Don't. Don't lose now. I worked really hard for this fish today. There we go. Oh my god, guys, that feels good. That feels really good. God, that feels good. And it's on the GoPro Hero 5. First fish on the GoPro Hero 5. It's a nice and that was a good sight cast too. Saw him pop, dropped it on his head, and he inhaled it. <sighs> that felt really good. Alright, well let's get him. I think Jason wants to keep some fish so that he can cook them with his family. So we are going to keep him, I think, and go get him another redfish, hopefully. But man, that, oh, it was a, it was a brutal morning, guys, so... This fish means a lot. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. That's a nice red. God, that felt good. Oh, I sight casted him using 
a saltwater assassin chicken on a chain and Rockport Rattler jig head, just like I've talked about all the time. It is a really, really solid bait, especially when you drop it right on a redfish's head. He's gonna inhale it. Got it. He's got it. Little guy. I saw him feeding. Sweet little red. Sight casted. Pretty little guy. There you go. Got another one side casted. Oh, that's so much fun. I don't know if that was really more sight casted as much as hear casted. Listen, what do you call it? Hearing casted? Because I heard him, turned, saw the splash, cast it over there, and he was there. Got to use your eyes and your ears when you're out here looking for redfish. And you gotta distinguish between what's all this is all mullet that you see it's hard to distinguish but believe me if you get out here enough you'll know what a redfish sounds like as opposed to a mullet and you'll know what they look like too all right guys i think that's gonna do it for this little section uh and now let's get back and let's give you some specifications on the camera because uh, i think it's pretty cool it's got some pretty cool stuff that goes along with it so now that i've caught my fish Let's get back and talk about the camera. What's up guys, now that I am back and I got a little bit of sleep, I'm ready to start talking about the camera, which is the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Here it is in all of its glory. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the gray, I like the look of this better than any GoPro in the past. Uh, I really like the screen. It's easy to work with, I can see it in the sunlight. And I know it's in frame. That's the biggest thing is I didn't have a four. I had a three plus and I had a session. And this kind of seems like a good combination between a session and the GoPro Hero 4. I mean, I first thing I want to talk about is I just went through all the footage and edited it together of the fishing trip. The clarity on this is better than any GoPro there has ever been. The clarity on this camera is absolutely insane. I'm really happy with that. And I was only filming in 1080p 30 frames per second. This thing does up to 4K at 30 frames per second and I think in 1080p it'll do 120 frames a second. So I was using nowhere near the capability of this camera and the clarity of it was exceptional. So with that I think they did a really really good job. Now, I also really like that it's waterproof out the box. You don't need a, a to put it in a case, and that's especially good for fishermen. Uh, the one thing I was worried about is the external microphones and how that would work with wind. Now, they have a wind reduction system, but as you probably noticed, there still is background wind noise. Now, I think the good thing about this camera is, yes, there's going to be background wind noise, but it has the extra microphones that will pick up on voice and other things like the fish splashing in the water, and that will come through also. The wind noise doesn't drown out all the other audio. Yes, it's in the background, but the other audio is still like there, which I think is a good thing, but at the same time, I, I kind of don't like wind noise. Now, I'm going to open it, take it out of it. It's, it's actually a really good case, uh, hard case, so it seems like it's going to take falls pretty well, which I'll drop it all the time, so that's good. But I'm going to take it out of its case and kind of show you uh, some other stuff about this. Now, as I talked about, it's waterproof out the box. You can actually see there's like gaskets there that keep the water coming out, so that's really cool. And this is the port where there's an HDMI port and then the charging port. Now, this charging port is different than the three and four, so it is a new cord that goes in. But this piece is actually removable. So when the adapters are made, that is probably going to be a port where you can attach an external microphone to really reduce that wind noise. Uh, so it's going to have that capability, but out of the and, but at the same time, out of the box, I'm not too disappointed in the external audio. The audio is still coming through, and it drowns out the wind noise. It doesn't eliminate it, but it doesn't 
allow like me talking to get completely drowned out like other GoPro cameras and it actually gets some good audio as opposed to other GoPro cameras that in their case get none. So in that regards, they did a pretty good job. I still might have to add an external microphone to this thing, but that makes it not waterproof. So it's going to be a, you know, a, a, a give and take relationship when it comes to audio as it always is in GoPros. But I do think capability of this thing out of the box is better or at least comparable to every other camera, uh, action camera on the market. It's got a removable battery, which is good for me, someone who has, uh, needs a lot of footage taken, I'll, I'll end up buying an extra battery for this thing. That way I can actually fill uh, the memory card that comes with it. Actually, I bought this at Best Buy, again, for $399. I don't think I said that at the beginning. $399 for this, and it came with a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card, which I think is awesome. So it's a pretty darn good deal. So yeah, screen's really easy to use. I can see it in the sunlight. That's really good. Uh, it makes, you know, just figuring out, changing my settings really quick and easy. Like I said, it's kind of a cross between a Session and a Hero 4, so you can just click that button and it's instantly going to start recording when you click that button. Uh, you don't have to, you know, it's a quick start. You don't have to turn the camera on and then click it, which I actually lost the fish last night uh, doing that, so uh, using my old camera. But uh, So I'm kind of happy that that's going to work with this GoPro. Anyways, overall, this is definitely the best GoPro ever made. It, I think, is highly comparable to any action cam on the market. I think, personally, it's better than any other action cam on the market. It does what I need it to do, especially. Uh, if you want any other details on this or any questions about this, go ahead and ask me. Email me, redhuntertx at gmail.com, or just leave them in the comment section below. I'll get to anything that I can. I really like the camera. The quality of this camera, the clarity is exceptional. And also, if you notice at the beginning, that low light for this is the best the GoPro has ever done in low light situations. Uh, you know, low light is very hard to capture on camera, but I think they did a really good job with this because I could see a little bit better than the camera could see, but actually not much. It was pretty dark when I was filming that intro sequence with this thing. So. I'm happy with it. It's definitely the best GoPro uh, out there on the market right now. And at $399, I think it's probably the camera to go to if you're just wanting to start out filming action camera style stuff, outdoors, fishing, hunting, whatever you do. Uh, I think this is the camera to go with. Anyway, guys, I hope that answers a lot of your questions. Like I said, email me or leave them in the comments below. I'll answer anything that you guys have. Uh, I think that's going to be it for here. I hope you guys enjoyed the fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed the little first impressions overview of the GoPro Hero 5 Black. I'm looking forward to using it a lot more. It's definitely a camera that I added to, to uh, up the quality of the channel, which I've been doing. Hopefully you guys have noticed I've been doing steadily as we go on. I'm getting better at editing and uh, getting better at filming, and I think the videos are coming out better, and I hope you guys are enjoying them. If you did, Please leave a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.